the quest for free energy for those envisioning a decentralized, independent future free from the stranglehold of centralized power systems. The idea that energy can be harvested from the natural world, particularly through the disturbance of the ether field, has gained renewed attention as both an engineering marvel and a political tool. Devices like the Alex Core aerial system, which charge batteries using atmospheric potential, serve as examples of how ether physics and atmospheric energy may hold the key to breaking away from totalitarian control. By harnessing the Earth's electric potential, these systems not only provide a means of generating energy but also means of generating energy but also symbolize a step toward individual freedom in a world increasingly dominated by authoritarian power structures. The basics of atmospheric electricity and ether field disturbance. At the core of these free energy systems is the concept of the Earth's atmospheric potential gradient, a well-documented phenomenon. Mainstream science acknowledges that the potential difference between the Earth's surface and the upper atmosphere can reach up to 400,000 volts, with a measurable gradient of about 120 volts per meter on a clear day. This voltage difference, caused by the Earth's negative charge compared to the positively charged atmosphere, has the potential to drive ions from the atmosphere to the Earth's surface. Historically, the ether, the invisible medium that was once believed to fill all of space, was considered essential in understanding the nature of electricity. Before Einstein's theories eliminated the concept of the ether, many early scientists viewed electricity as a manifestation of disturbances in the ether field. Devices like the Alex Core aerial system are built upon this forgotten principle, exploiting the voltage difference between the ground and the overhead airspace to generate energy through ether field disturbance. The Alex Core aerial system, a simple, yet revolutionary approach. The Alex Core aerial system, much like the technologies of early free energy pioneers such as Thomas Henry Moray, seeks to capture ambient electrical energy from the atmosphere. The system is deceptively simple, an aerial, or antenna, suspended between two elevated points, such as between a house and a tree, acts as a collector of atmospheric electricity. This aerial should be at least half a millimeter in diameter and insulated from its supports using non-conductive materials like plastic cord. The longer the aerial or the more aerials connected in parallel, the greater the potential charging power. This system also requires a robust earth connection, typically made with thick copper wire connected to a metal rod or plate driven deep into the ground. The role of the earth connection is critical because it taps into the earth's negative charge, allowing the system to exploit the potential difference between the ground and the atmosphere. A series of diodes are placed between the aerial and the earth connection to capture and direct the flow of electrical energy. The device can charge batteries in the range of 1.5 volts to 6 volts, providing enough energy for small-scale household use, all without reliance on traditional power grids. The modification can generate 240 volts, several thousand watts, enough power for a family. The Ultimate Energizer blog will give you full instructions for practicing DIY this high power generator. Ether Physics and the Revivips The basis of the Alexcore aerial system is found in ether physics, a field of study largely discarded in the early 20th century in favor of Einstein's theory of relativity. However, proponents of ether physics argue that much of the fundamental understanding of electricity has been lost as a result. Mainstream science continues to operate under the assumption that electrons, imaginary particles used to explain electrical phenomena, are the primary drivers of electricity. Ether physics, by contrast, proposes that electricity is the result of disturbances in a subtle, energetic field that pervades all, field that pervades all of space. The theory known as the electric universe has gained popularity as an alternative model, recognizing the existence of electrical forces throughout the cosmos. While mainstream science acknowledges atmospheric electricity, it largely fails to capitalize on its potential, dismissing the ether as outdated. This dismissal, ether proponents argue, has led to a stagnation in electrical science, with much of the original knowledge of free energy devices suppressed, or ignored. Free energy devices, a path to self-sufficiency in a totalitarian world. As the world moves toward what many fear is a highly controlled, technologically driven totalitarian future, free energy devices like the Alex Core system present a way to resist centralized authority. In a society where high technology is used to control resources, energy independence becomes a powerful tool for liberation. If every household could generate its own electricity, it would dramatically reduce reliance on governments or corporations that control energy distribution. Furthermore, it would free individuals from the volatility of economic markets as energy, one of the most crucial commodities, would be available without monetary exchange. In this context, free energy becomes a weapon against the financial and political systems designed to subjugate the masses. By decentralizing energy production, free energy devices could enable individuals and communities to break away from the systems of control enforced by the new world order. 
This would lead to a world where wealth is not measured in currency but in the ability to produce, innovate, and thrive through energy independence. Rediscovering lost technologies and the importance of historical truth. The development of free energy technologies is not just a technical challenge but also a historical one. Many of the principles underlying these devices were once well known but have since been forgotten or suppressed. The story of ether physics and free energy is a reminder of the dangers of allowing history to be written by the victors. As George Orwell pointed out in 1984, those who control the present control the past, and those who control the past control the future. If we are to build a future of energy independence and self-sufficiency, we must first uncover the truth about the past. In recent years, the exploration of historical secrets such as those surrounding Tartaria, a supposed ancient civilization with advanced technology, has gained attention. Proponents of the Tartaria theory suggest that the world once possessed free energy technologies that were wiped from history by those seeking to control the narrative. By rediscovering this lost knowledge, we can break free from the cycle of suppression and domination that has characterized much of modern history. Conclusion A Future of Free Energy and Freedom The Alexcore aerial system and similar free energy devices offer more than just a means of generating electricity, they represent the possibility of a future free from centralized control. In an era where technology is increasingly used as a tool of domination, the ability to generate one's own power could serve as a form of resistance. By tapping into the Earth's natural potential and disturbing the ether field, individuals can achieve energy independence, freeing themselves from the financial and political systems designed to keep them in check. The future of free energy is not just a technical issue but a political and historical one. To create a world where every household has access to free energy, we must first understand the hidden truths of history and rediscover the lost technologies of the past. In doing so, we can build a world where energy is abundant, wealth is distributed, and freedom is preserved for all. The Ultimate Energizer Generate Ultimate Energizer Guide. This technology is essentially an improvement on the Jewel Thief circuit and Don Smith circuit, resulting in a unique version. The deep origin of the Ultimate Energizer Generator traces back to Nikola Tesla's innovations. Tesla's invention of the bifiller coil and regulator for dynamo electrical machines is documented in the Complete Ultimate Energizer Guide. The Jewel Thief circuit and Don Smith circuit, although capable of producing output energy greater than input energy, are primarily intended for free energy researchers. Those who demonstrate these circuits often do not share these circuits often do not share the secrets of generating electricity to power household appliances. The complete ultimate energizer guide reveals the secrets of generating electricity using electronic components and coils, with power output depending on the system's expansion. This sets it apart from the Jewel Thief circuit and Don Smith circuit, which are commonly shared online. Moreover, the circuit described in the Ultimate Energizer Guide is unique and distinct from the Jewel Thief circuit and Don Smith circuit. The complete Ultimate Energizer Guide also includes many other instructions and hidden technologies that have been concealed for many years. This digital document is worthy of study and practical application. I recommend reading more reviews of the complete Ultimate Energizer Guide on my Ultimate Energizer Guide blog. Also, check out additional instructions for generating free electricity at home. Good luck!